residents living at Kaswa Opekuma say they are living in fear after a house in the community was robbed and a 25-year-old girl was killed. The body of Amakwansma was later covered with rubbish and a dustbin by her killers. The residents who discovered the body say they suspect she was raped as her underwear had been removed when, she, when the body was seen. Maswala Baba was there and now reports. Uncontrollable tears at the residence of the deceased Ama Kwansoma. Well, this is a shop and it remains closed. On a regular day, the 25-year-old uh, will be here managing um, this place. But today, she's no more as the family continues to mourn her sudden departure. Yeah, fair man, yeah, fair name, yeah, fair name, yeah, fair name. Yeah, fair name. Yeah, fair name. Yeah, 12 in the morning. We were calling her phone since 12 p.m., but there was no response. She did not tell us where she'd be going. I left home around 4 p.m. to go and play with my friends. Apparently, she had gone to clean a house some meters away, and that was when the robbers came to the place. I'm sure they killed her because she would have been able to identify them. I saw her body outside the building. They broke her neck and her arms. This place has become a haven for criminals, and we are being terrorized. A lot of the um, residents I've been speaking to are raising concerns about the security situation here at Kaswa Opekuma. The assemblyman for the area, Nanayawa Moafu, says something needs to be done urgently. Yesterday, actually, I was in the house when uh, one man came to me that uh, there's something has happened in his house. I should, so I should accompany him to so go to the police to go and do the report. And I asked him what is the actual thing. And he said somebody has been murdered at the back of his building. But she, the girl is a uh, house help to him. So at the time, he, he said he went, uh, he went to work in the morning. Has returned. She has, she has been murdered, killed, and uh, and she's been covered with uh, that's green grass and a dustbin. That's okay. Then we should go to the police station. So we went to the police station and the police took him and have a look at it, and they took pictures and they took the body away. Well, as we went there, the lady is naked. That the panties is off, left with the up uh, the attire that is at the up. And uh, they've ripped her with the panties. As the panties have been removed, they've ripped her and they went inside the room and they robbed them too. What did they take from the house? Oh, so many things. They took so many things. Television, so many things. We cannot even know to count, uh, count it. What is the security situation in this area? Oh, our security over here is very poor because uh, at times, I've learned people have heard. So many things about Opekuma, Opekuma. Uh, we have people that have been snatching. Uh, I don't, if the women are going to market, they have been snatching their bags. And um, at times, either they will rape you, or as uh, what has happened now. Got, I, uh, last year, something happened in such a way, where the woman was raped and she was killed. And this also, this one there is robbery case. So the robbers went in. After robbing, and they they, uh, they slew with the girl and they killed her. Brother of the deceased says after a four-hour fruitless search for his sister, he later um, discovered the body lying here with this dustbin on it. This rubbish gathered here was used um, to conceal the body. His sister had come here 
to clean this house for the owner 